Since time immemorial, man has been searching for answers. Why do some people lead a charmed life, while others ride a more difficult path? Can destiny be changed, or is it preordained and written in the stars? Is it possible to foretell the future and be forewarned about our fate? In Tamil Nadu, the people remain zealous guardians of ancient traditions. This is the home of mystics and fakirs, where fortune telling is a way of life. Here, not only is it possible to tell the future, the locals believe it's possible to change it. Not surprisingly, fortune telling has become a national obsession. Daily horoscopes are lapped up. It is big business. Nothing, it seems, can be done without first consulting the family astrologer. Fortune tellers proliferate along the dusty streets. Everything seems blessed with powers of divination, even parrots. It doesn't matter whether your life is revealed by the lines on your hand or the shape of your face. Everyone seems obsessed with knowing what the future has in store. Hardly surprising as Tamil Nadu is believed to be the birthplace of astrology. In Tamanachilan, <laughs> Muru Garajendran is the head of the Astrologers Association in Tamil Nadu. An astrologer and a palmist, he knows a lot about the future. Astrology may be considered one of the oldest and most common forms of fortune telling, but in Tamil Nadu, there is another way of predicting the future, which even today remains shrouded in mystery. It is believed that thousands of years ago, people's destinies were written on dried palm leaves. These are known as the Nadi leaves. Their history can be traced back more than 2,000 years. It's believed that Indian sages were granted the ability to look into the past and future of every human being on earth. They recorded all that they saw and wrote everything down. Surely an impossible task for even the wisest of men. But Nadi Leaf readers believe that everyone's life has already been written, and we are destined to follow the script of our lives. Karuna Haran comes from an illustrious line of Nadi readers. It took seven years of intensive study to master the art. He is considered one of the great Nadi gurus. Nadi leaf readers don't claim to be clairvoyant or psychic. 
Their job is simply to locate the right leaf for their clients and translate the ancient Tamil script. Karuna Kharan claims the readings are so accurate that even death can be predicted. Like most other Indian cities, Chennai has embraced the IT revolution. An industry founded on logic and ostensibly run by people with their feet firmly on the ground. PJ is one of Chennai's up-and-coming software engineers. A rationalist, he has never had his fortune told. But as a newlywed with his life stretched out before him, it was only logical for him to give it a whirl. It's quite exciting to know about the feature itself. It's like a little bit nervous also. I just married and uh, I am planned for some three or four children. So let's want to know what he is saying. So just the, my plans and what he is saying matches. Then it's really good. It will be comfortable for me. Vijay chose Nadi Leaf Astrology. All it takes is a simple thumbprint to reveal your past, present and future. Each thumbprint containing more than 3,000 minute lines can match over 1,000 leaves. Once the correct bundle has been located, the process of finding the right leaf begins. This is done by asking a series of simple questions. The process can take a long time. After almost two hours, Vijay's leaf is found. The breakdown of his past life, and more importantly, his future, is read out to him. The moment of truth has arrived. You are reading this astrology age of 27. Your wife name is Anitya. One more thing is because of your the planetary position, you won't get easily to children's also because of that bad portion. Even though you will have very good brain future, but the Costly and presently also, sometimes unnecessary you face some struggling. And some people also get some jealous, some people also will do some bad things against you in your working place because of your previous karma. According to your Nadi, mid of life, uh, mid period, uh, slowly increase to your everything. And end of life, definitely you become a successful man because of your destiny like that, end of your general chapter, Subham. About my career, he was uh, mentioning about I was working hard and still it was not getting recognized. And so that was, a, uh, it's really true actually. In the way he told about my parents, my uh, wife, and the way uh, yes, she's not having a job. Those things I, okay, it's quite true actually, those things. Never, it won't, uh, change me. I'll be as I am and I'll be leaving. If uh, something happens, I can think of, okay, he said so, it, it is happening or something, it might happen also in the opposite side also. So that time I can say, okay, it's not true, then I can go on my way. Vijay may not have been entirely convinced, but how can these modest looking leaves reveal such accurate information as the names and background of your immediate family? Some people believe, however, that the future should remain untold. Life 
அது மக்களுக்கு தெரியல அதை பார்க்கணும்னு ஆசைப்படுறாங்க அதுக்கு ஒரே காரணம் பயம் இன்னொன்று ஆசை நம்ம லைஃப் எப்படி போயிடுமோன்னு ஒன்று பயப்படுறாங்க இன்னொன்று நிறைய நமக்கு கிடைக்காதா அப்படின்னு ஆசைப்படுறாங்க இது ரெண்டும் தவறு அப்படிங்கிறத நாங்கள் எவ்வளவு வற்புறுத்தி சொல்ல முடியுமோ அவ்வளோ வற்புறுத்தி உலகத்துக்கு சொல்லிட்டு இருக்கோம் But to what purpose did the sages record everyone's lives on palm leaves? Can a glimpse into your future actually help you change it for the better? There are those who claim Nadi has done just that. Nadi astrology works in mysterious ways. Nadi in Tamil means to come in search of. and people from all over the world come to find out their nadi fate both anet and kaito have taken two very different passages to india it has been a journey that has dramatically altered the course of their lives two different people from two different parts of the world drawn to india by nadi can it give them the answers they seek The search for Nadi usually begins in the village of Vaishwaran Goyal, 5 hours by road from Chennai. It is here that the great sages are believed to have written the Nadi leaves. Their statues adorn the many temples and their legacy lives on through the 100 or so astrologers who claim they too can read the leaves. There is no doubt in a net's mind that Nadi goes beyond the boundaries of fortune telling. For her, it is something that is deeply spiritual. She has become a true disciple of Nadi. Nadi to me is a process whereby it shows that we are all only actors playing a role in a grand play that's been directed and written by God. And when the Nadi is completed, when you have found your leaf, the Nadi is uh transcribed and written out for you basically what you're being given is the script for this life Annette came to India a few years ago discovered Nadi and turned her back on Australia but it hasn't been a smooth ride her business suddenly collapsed an event foretold by her Nadi reader Uh, well, it was predicted that I would have uh, a financial problem with with a partner, and that has come true. The dates that I was given were correct. When my husband would leave, it also mentioned that there would be heart problems at that time. That has come true. I was, uh, I did nearly have another heart attack a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> so everything that in that respect is correct. Annette is so convinced that Nadi is the true way that she is spreading the message through the internet. And it's here in Vaishwaran Koil that she finds most of her inspiration. And the Nadi directs the Mani Maram has been translating Annette's Nadi readings since she first came to India. And madam is having very good contact with us. She consults the Nadi for each and every step. and if she has been getting very good benefits out of this nadi she is destined to propagate this nadi almost all over the world to do the best to the people kaito a freelance writer from japan also seems to have had his destiny scripted by the nadi leaves his first nadi reading was not only uncannily accurate but it also opened the door to a new career it revealed that he would also help others obtain their nadi readings today kaito travels to india 3 or 4 times a year on behalf of his clients uttu vaalvu father mother alive father mother like correct father mother more interest the spiritual father mother more interested in spiritual uh mother yes father i don't know Three years, I've been searching for totally 250 or 300 people's leaf, but none of them are having doubt. They don't say, "No, no, this is not my leaf." They said, 
It sounds great. It matches. Kaito doesn't need any convincing that everything is preordained. Formerly a struggling actor in Japan, he decided to take a pilgrimage to the 88 temple site in Shikoku. He had reached an impasse in his life and needed to change direction, but didn't know how. Then, on his journey, he met a man who told him about these strange and wonderful nadi leaves. He became fascinated. Yet, out of work and with little money, he knew he could never afford the fare to India. Then fate intervened. When I uh, finished this uh, pilgrimage, uh, I had no money at all. But some old lady suddenly called me again to Shikoku. And then he just gave me like uh, big money. You did the great thing on the uh, pilgrimage. From that money I could come to India. He arrived in India and went straight to a Nadi reader. Again, like so many other people's experiences, it outlined intimate details about Kaito's personal life. Yes. Father, mother, job. Father, mother, job. Yes. First child. First child. Two yes. children. <laughs> Two sons, yes. Two daughters. Two daughters. One brother, his daughter. One brother. No sister. sister. No sister. A brother, job, part time job. Yes. Your job. Movie. Hmm. Acting. Hmm. I was not believing this 100%. But when suddenly uh, my name, my parents' name, my wife's name, my birthday, my job, everything came in the uh, one leaf. Uh, mother name is hmm. Mayu Mi. Yes. Rio Ta. Father hmm. name. Hmm. Yes. Your wife name is K E Ko. Huh. You wife? My wife. Ah, uh, yeah. Huh. Huh. Eh? Fuka. Eh? And then the uh, Nadi said, are you having some uh, misunderstanding with your wife? And I had a misunderstanding with my wife at that time. So I said, yes. I cannot believe you. Believe? I cannot believe you. No? Believe? Because uh, since I came to India on this journey, uh, my wife gave me email. I want to divorce you. I want to live separate with you. So, there was some misunderstanding. There is also another side to Nadi that gives people a chance to influence their own destinies. Many Indians believe that bad deeds committed in previous lives are carried over into the present. This negative karma can be counteracted by performing what the Nadi astrologers call remedies. But can it really make you a better person? Kaito believes it can. I was not the person like uh, doing this before. But uh, Nadi brought me to do this like this. Uh, I come to uh, this place like uh, uh, two or three times a year. I saw the uh, children glowing up. A little bit, a little bit. So that makes me uh, pleasure. You, you have water. No? If you have a difficult period in your life and the Nadi says that this remedy will help, you do the remedy and you find it, ha it has made change. It won't necessarily obliterate it or take, it or take the situation away, but it will minimise the difficulty. That is a, one of the benefits of, of doing the remedies. Nadi has no doubt enriched Kaito's life beyond his expectations. It has given him a new direction and a spiritual connection with India that will remain with him forever. Annette's passage to India hasn't been easy. Despite the somber predictions of her Nadi readings, Annette willingly accepts it as the truth. A truth which has enabled her to deal with her life. 
I can't spend my day dwelling on what has happened and what could have happened and what may still happen in the future. I have to work at a different level. But it was my destiny to have Nadi in my life, so I'm sure that that's why it's there. Indians believe there is also a third way to improve your spiritual well-being, one that can provide the building blocks to a more successful life. Vastu Shastra, an arcane building practice, has been revived, and today, those who live, work or pray in a Vastu building talk about the mysterious powers of its good vibrations. Vastu always helps you to enhance the feeling of peace. And it's a feeling, it's a vibration, a wonderful vibration full of peace and serenity.